we are giving away a Sean Taylor 97 overall on our Twitter at Madden Daily. Make sure you guys go follow us and retweet this tweet. Link will be in the description. Yo, what is going on, guys? Tiff, and we're back on the Madden Ultimate Team Play Review. And today, we are going to be doing a 97 Legend Sean Taylor Play Review. With a little catch, we are going to be doing a Mutt Player Review Giveaway. We are going to be giving away this Sean Taylor. Make sure you guys go follow us on our Twitter, at Madden Daily, and retweet our tweet that we posted last night. Link to that tweet will be in the description. Follow us and retweet it to get a shot to enter Xbox One. So let's go over some of the statistics. 6'3", 94 speed, 95 acceleration, 91 play rec, 91 tackle, 68 man coverage, 86 zone coverage, 96 pursuit, and a whopping 100 hit power. Some other key statistics to go by. He's got 89 agility, 80 strength, 86 awareness, 77 catch, 93 injury. 91 stamina, 94 jumping, 75 spectacular catch, uh, 81 finesse move, 86 block shed, 67 power move, 68 man coverage, 86 zone, uh, and 79 press. So let's go over a couple of clips on my you know, showcasing of Sean Taylor and how he played for me. And first we'll go over the coverage statistic, which is probably his worst statistic that he has uh, as being a card. Sean Taylor was never really known for being a coverage guy, but with 86 zone coverage, 68 man coverage, he's not the best coverage guy to put out on the field. You get Sean Taylor for the hit power and to cause fumbles, basically, and also he's very good at the jump ball. We'll get into that in a little bit. Uh, do not put this guy in man coverage, 68 man coverage, he'll get burned by even the easiest receivers. And 86 zone coverage, I mean, he plays zone coverage very well. If you play cover two, cover three, he'll play the zone well. Just probably not to the best of the abilities, like maybe a 99 Woodson or anyone with higher uh, ability uh, to play zone coverage. As you can see right there, he actually gets the interception because of his height. Uh, won't be like an Earl Thomas who plays zone very well. But now let's get into actually the good things about this card is his height and his jump ball ability along with his speed. 94 speed, 95 acceleration. He does not really get beat deep on a lot of streaks, if any. Uh, what usually ends up happening is that, you know, they try to trigger the aggressive catch feature. And what makes this card so valuable and so good, he's 6'3", he has 94 jumping. So, the best traits about him is he's very good with the jump ball. I'm not saying he's going to deflect every jump ball if you play the receiver or go for the ball. But more times than not, he gets the interception or he knocks it out. Because, let's bring into the nether statistic, 100 hit power. Are you kidding me? This guy causes so many fumbles in the backfield. So many fumbles in the field in general. You will definitely cause at least one fumble a couple of games. Once every two games, he's definitely going to cause a fumble. If you get a nice hit stick in, 100 hit power definitely helps. Now, as you can see in a couple of stats or a couple of clips, his pursuit is good, but you'll see that sometimes that he does get juked out of his feet, almost like any other card in this game. It's just how the game plays. But that's basically my time with the Sean Taylor card. He's definitely going to be worth something. So final thoughts on the Sean Taylor 97 overall legend. Pros, hit power, 100 hit power. And that's coupled with 80 strength. He will cause fumbles. And he will also cause incomplete passes when you hit the receiver going up for the ball. That's what the hit power trait does. So keep that in mind. Jump ball. Huge, huge player. 6'3", one of the tallest safeties in the game. Uh, whenever someone's throwing up lobs, he's probably the best guy that you're going to have to have back there just because he's got 94 jump. He can definitely swat the ball out and get the interception. Not saying that it's going to be every single time, but he's the best person I believe to have there in the backfield. And the last pro is block shit. He does like to block shit a lot. 86 block shit for a safety is pretty good. That's what he's known for, block shedding and hitting the ball carrier. So let's go over to some cons. You know, coverage is not the best. 68 man coverage. Don't put him in man. Zone coverage, he could be better at it. But I guess you'll just have to wait for the ultimate legend uh, version of him. And his hands. I didn't really go over this in the clips, but 77 catch, 75 spectacular catch. He will drop. He does have somewhat of stone hands. But at the same time, the... The stats are not bad. He will catch interceptions, especially if you use them. So if I had to give it a final grade, I would give him a final grade of 9.4. Very solid card. Make sure you guys get, definitely go pick him up. He's going for 200k in the auction house. Definitely worth a try, and he will definitely make some plays in the backfield or in general for you guys. That's going to be the end of the Mutt Player review, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed 
this video. Make sure you guys go check us out on Twitter and retweet the giveaway to get a shot to earn this card. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.